Always fun, especially this time of night to look at all those recipes. It's like, mm, I'll take some of that. You know, the bacon green chili popper should have its own category. Oh, absolutely. Next year. That sounds so good. really good. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we were telling you it's going to be hot today, but the hot days are going to be numbered because we have some pretty dramatic changes taking place. Look at that. We're 92. We hit a high of 94, triple digit heat for one final day, southeastern New Mexico. Now, uh, much like what we had yesterday, we're going to have a warm evening and a delightful start on the day. So your 12-hour planner looks pretty good as we go ahead and show you the changes. This high pressure, which has been keeping it dry and hot and keeping that monsoon moisture to the south, will be shifting to the east, but it'll be drawing up monsoon moisture, not just because it's shifting to the east, but because this low comes down and pulls up the waves of monsoon moisture. And it will be abundant at times because there'll be some remnants from Dolly that could skirt parts of New Mexico over the weekend and remnants from Norbert that will Work on into Arizona and maybe scoot over parts of New Mexico for Monday and Tuesday. So every day we're going to be updating you on these forecast models. Uh, here's one for Thursday. That's when the high really shifts to the east. Look at the tropical moisture pouring up and showers and thunderstorms, maybe heavy at times around the Gila. And this is from a front dropping into northeastern New Mexico. On Friday, showers and thunderstorms will continue in the afternoon around oh, for areas around Tau, Santa Fe, Raton, Las Vegas, on into Gallup, Grants, and western. Parts of the state, there could be some pockets of heavy rain there as well. All right, that's Friday. Saturday, that humid air is in play, so showers and thunderstorms central, eastern, and western parts of New Mexico. Here's that moisture from Norbert that could be kicking in throughout northern and western halves of the state. The northwest half of the state looks like we just have to figure, figure out what exact area it's going to track. That looks to be around Monday or Tuesday, and we just, you know, we just have to keep you up to date on this with each and every newscast. So it'll be. Hot southeastern New Mexico, highs in the 90s. Southwest, you get the idea, you're dry now, but Thursday, Friday, on into early next week, showers, thunderstorms, potentially heavy rain moving back into your area. It'll be dry and hot, but look for showers and thunderstorms to be increasing late in the week and again throughout the weekend at times with the humid air increasing. Those scattered showers and thunderstorms will start to bubble up. Not so much tomorrow, Los Alamos, Santa Fe, and Taos. It'll be another warm day, but you will notice a definite. Increase a little bit Thursday and certainly more on into Friday and Saturday. There'll be spot showers from Raton down into the Las Vegas area, looking pretty quiet throughout the East Mountains. And the Metro will start off pretty delightful and daytime highs warming into above normal categories again before we start to lower. Dropping into the 60s tonight, so tomorrow's a hot day. Clouds will thicken on Thursday, maybe a spot shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon, 89 degrees. So scattered showers and thunderstorms look to increase on Friday. Friday into Saturday, and then it looks like uh, late Sunday into Monday and Tuesday, and more waves of moisture will try to work on in. So I'm not trying to set up a pattern that from Friday to Monday it's going to be constant rain, but I tell you what, some areas of the state will have some. Um, very heavy rainfall as uh, these uh, waves of moisture skirt across the area, and we just have to update you on it day by day. Lots of changes. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Joe. Another American journalist is believed to be dead.